breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people, and it gets really interesting. Northern governors fight among themselves who is responsible for the banditry that has been ravaging the north. A few days ago, we brought, up, brought you up to speed that the governor of Zamfara State finger points the minister of defense, Bello Matawa, the former governor of the state, that is the one responsible for all the insecurity. In fact, he explained that this guy did it on purpose to gain some attention. You know, he explained and he made Nigerians to understand that Bello Matawa is not as you seem. However, you know, in Nigeria, the powers that be, you know, will not care to look at any, any, any kind of hunch or any kind of leading. Now, if a minister is serving minister, there is an accusation against such an individual. What would have happened would have been a suspension. Nobody said you have done anything, but an investigation will be carried out. Now, if you are found while you are in suspension, your full salary will be paid. You know, if you are found guilty, you will pay for it. If not, do you understand? You'll be reinstated fully with all your benefits. But in Nigeria, there are really sincerely, truly, no, uh, no, uh, will I call it, uh, no, no position to really authenticate true leadership or accusation that has been made. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Matawa to Governor Lawa, swear with Quran that you know nothing about banditry. You dare accuse me? Should I expose you? Before you talk about me, I will expose you. I'm happy to bring it up. The Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawa, on Tuesday challenged the Governor of Zamfara State, Daudu Lawa, to swear with the Holy Quran to prove his innocence and banditry affecting the state. Matawa gave the charge on Chinese TV, Sunrise Daily, while debunking the governor's claim, which linked him to banditry in the state. The minister recalled how he swore using the Quran that he has no connection with banditry. During an appearance on Chinese TV, on TVC, Lawa has charged the minister to resign and address the allegation he of him sponsoring bandits and money laundry during his tenure as governor. If I were him, Matawa, I would have resigned and faced all the allegations against me. For me, honestly, I will step aside and face this allegation until I clear my name before I come back and continue my job. That should have been the honorable thing to do. But in Nigeria, there is no one who there is no one who takes accountability of what is wrong or right. How will he have all these allegations against him and still be the Minister of Defense? Do you know what that means? Minister of Defense? Nigeria is lost, the governor has said. Reacting, Bello Matawa said they should bring any proof of what they have said while, st while stating that the allegations were unfounded. The Minister of State for Defense explained that they were based on his dialogue with the bandits, which other governors had done as well. He was not the only one, or he's not the only one, who has dialogued with bandits. He said, it was not only I who dialogued with bandits. Remember all the governors' dialogue? The then governor of Niger, Sokoto State, did the same thing. Why only me? Because it is Zamfara. Zamfara is a very complex state with terrible human beings with devilish ideas. Let me remind you, I was the only governor that swore to the Holy Quran that I have no hand in connection with banditry. Or I am not, or am I not happy with, or am I happy with what is happening? How can I be happy with these people ravaging my people? I'm not happy. Am I part of it? No. I am collaborating with them. God should not give me, if I'm collaborating with them, God should not give me one second grace. I challenge all the politicians, including General Lee Gasso and Daudu Lawa, to do the same. None of them could, could take the oath. And if they don't take the oath, that means they are part of it. Simple. How many northern, how many northern governors and leaders can actually come out and clear their names out of this banditry issue? So there goes the whistle. The north, the blame game has begun. 
not uh, one governor is pushing it to another another governor is pushing it to another and the blame game continue don't forget that this country if we want to change every single hand will have to be on deck we cannot afford to have the same thing over and over again this when we allow people who have no iota of concern regarding us to be the ones who decide our future nigeria today the days are upon us we every single individual must rise up and ensure that the truth is dispensed the issue here is people know the truth yes but they pretend or they carry on as if you know none of these things are real the truth is if we continue to pretend to one another and we don't actually come out you know once upon a time to ensure that all of this is sorted you'll be surprised what we follow it's it's unbelievable that you know in our nation people who are holding position of leadership could be accused of this level of you know of this level of uh, you know uh, untruthfulness okay people who have no form of integrity at all and guess what they are they are occupying some of the highest position in the land how do you reconcile all of that just how do you reconcile it these are people who are mounting position of leadership all across the country governors leaders and guess what one is saying you are the devil and that person is saying swear that you don't have a hand in it and nobody can actually really sincerely come out and say my hands are clean i have no stake in this do what you want let's get it sorted what does that tell you these are the crop of people we have as leaders there are really no uh, you know no 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 measures to ensure that we have true sincere people so i mean Mm -hmm. Everything that is going on just kind of really shows how truly things really are, you know. And whether you like it or not, it's, it boils down to, you know, the days that we are in, honestly. It boils down, it, it tells you the days that we are in, that things, all you see is not all there is. There is honest, sincere, you know, a position for Nigerians to begin a form of revolution that would really help this country. Because as it stands at the moment, we don't know how we're going to be rectifying some of these, you know, issues that have come to be. It is important that everybody begin to understand it. Look at governors arguing within themselves. You are the one. If you are not the one, you say that you are the you I mean, it's just honestly, sincerely, it does not speak well. And these are like the form of highest form of leadership in the land. No decorum. You know, this one saying you are the one, that one saying you are the one. And yet, these are the people who are holding people responsible for criminal activities. Who they won't catch now? Who will really be the criminal? You see her now? This is exactly what's happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.